Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Russian Fishing 4. And I'm coming to the end game in the sea area. So I'm almost at the medium boat rods and that means that I'm going to fish for bigger fish. And I'm going to talk about something that is very important if you go for big fish. You can use it on smaller fish too to just yeah, jerk them in the entire time. And that's called max dragging uh, your reel. So why are people doing that? Because if you max drag your reel, you can utilize the maximum strength of your reel. It's something totally different in this game than in other fishing games. Because in other fishing games you don't have that. It's a very complex system, but you need to do it. Why it's important that you know how you need to do it. If you fight very big fish, it's going to make the fight a lot shorter. Because you're going to push a lot of more strength uh, on the fish. So he gets fatigued a lot quicker. You can do it on smaller fish too. So if I now fish here in the sea area for sate. And they are 15 kg. I know if I go max drag on my reel. I can just jerk them in. So they are not pulling line anymore. No I just jerk them in. And it's going to speed up my farm process to get money. But you need to understand how it works. Because it's very complex. Why it's so complex? Because... We don't have the stats in the game. That's a very big problem. So you are using a setup. But some of the stats you don't see in the game. That makes it very complex. So I'm going to try to explain it to you guys. We are going to start at the start. I'm going to use timestamps under this video. Because there are a lot of things that you need to understand in this game. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, setup I need to say. Or this mechanic. So there is wear on your equipment. There are hidden stats on your, your equipment. And I will explain all that stuff to you. Because the hidden stats you can find it in a spreadsheet. I will show you guys that too. Uh, the wear is important too. Because if you got wear on your uh, line for example. Of 10%. Your line is not the maximum anymore. It's 10% less. And that's all important to understand. So you need to understand every piece in the chain. You need to understand how much strength it's still got. If you don't have that, if you don't understand that, don't do that method. Because at the end of the video, if you still think, yeah, I don't understand max dragging, don't do it. Because you can break your reel. You can break your rod too, but I will prevent that. I will always say to you guys, be sure that your rod is the highest in strength in the chain. You can work around with it because there is a method that you pull right away on your reel. But I would not suggest to do that. I will not do that by myself either. Because it's so dangerous for your rod and you will break it. So let's start first with the start. So I'm going to start first with the basics. What we know from other fishing games. If you stay with the basics, you will never have a problem. So you will not break your reel, you will not break your rod, you will break your uh, hook. I will not show the hook in the first setup, uh, because it's not really that important. But hooks in this game, they got a hit and strength too. So that means if your hook is the weakest link, you will break your hook. And that's why you see people go in max drag and think by themselves, I got spooled, it's not a problem. Or I, got be, uh, I break some stuff, they break the hook. But you need to know how it works. So we are going to start first with how you need to make a basic safe setup. So I got here this setup. So I got this setup and this setup is safe. If I got now spooled, if I go maximum drag on my reel and I break shit... I will lose this part. Because my leader is the weakest link at the moment. Not my hook. Uh, because I think at the start it's not really needed. You can do it. I will show you guys a little bit later the spreadsheet. Where you can see what kind of strength you can have on a certain hook. So that you can make your hook the weakest link. So if you do it like that. This is going to break your hook of the, the lure. You keep your lure. And you keep your leader too. But that's something for a little bit later. So how does it work? Very simple. So in a setup you always need to be sure that your rod and your reel are the strongest link. 
Why is that? Because you don't, because they are the most expensive. You don't want to break your rod or your reel, because then you need to pay a lot of cash. How can you see it? Very simple. So on a rod you got load capacity, that's the maximum kilogram or strength this rod can handle. If you go over it, for example, I put on this, uh, on this setup a line of 200 kilograms and a fish pushes uh, 200 kilograms of strength, I will break my rod. So to be safe, always stay under this number. That's very important. So if I stay under 142 kilogram, I will never break my rod. Then the next part is the reel. You never can break your reel either. So you can see here, the maximum strength on the reel is always the maximum drag. It's 30.31 point seven kilogram on my beluga so if i go over this i will break my beluga not in this game not in this game because that's how the maximum drag system works there is something hidden on the reel but i will talk about that a little bit later but if you want to be safe and you don't want to break the beluga it's not going to happen in this scenario or in this game but i'm just saying that to you guys you stay under the beluga too how does the maximum drag work? So in this game, the maximum drag is your friction break. So it's the break you built it up. It's not 31 the entire time. It's this. So you can see it here. In this game, you got 29 settings for your break. So that means if you go to 1, that means you got 30, 31.7 kilogram divided by 30 and then multiplied by 1. That's the amount of kilogram I can push with my friction break at 1. That's how it works. So if you go to the maximum, that's 29. You will utilize a strength on the fish of 31.7 uh, kilogram for this example. Always remember that. It's your friction break that is doing that. So you can see it here. And then you're safe. So you don't lock it entirely. Uh, you're safe. Then the next step is uh, the next one. So you need to get the line a little bit uh, weaker than the reel. And what they are saying here is you always need to go 10% under the reel or 10% under the, the load capacity of the rod. I'm under my load capacity of the rod with a lot, but never go with the same line than the rod capacity. Because it's possible that you break your rod. So this is safe. Then once again you go with the leader. 10% lower than your line. And then you're safe. So if I get now spooled. What will happen? I will break my leader. So I'm only going to lose my leader. In this scenario. So you always need to work down. So you can see it here. You work down. And the weakest link always need to be the, the part that is the lowest. So here I can go with the hooks too. Uh, if I put here now a hook that can handle a strength of 25 or 24 kilogram, my hook will break when I get spooled or when I lock up my uh, reel. So that's a little bit how you need to make it. If you come from other games, you will have the, the, the same setup. So you always need to be sure that the weakest link is your hook in this game or your leader. That's simply said how it works. And then if something happens, uh, you lock your reel totally full or you get spooled. You only break the weakest link. That's how it works. But now we are going to the part of maximum drag setting. So because there is something that is called maximum drag setting in this game. Because what is going to happen when you do this? So I got now my friction break at 29. It will work the entire time. But what will happen if I do this? So I lock now my reel. On that moment in the game, your friction break is not going to be utilized anymore. But what is utilized is this. So if you come now back to my setup. And if we go here to this. If I put my friction break totally full, that's max dragging. My strength that is going to be used is not anymore the friction break but is the mechanism of the reel and therefore maximum dragging is utilizing a lot of more strength because 
if you are going to use the mechanism, and that's a hidden stat, you cannot see it, and therefore you need to go to the spreadsheet that I will show you guys right away. So if I do this now, I'm going to utilize the mechanism of my reel. And I know from the spreadsheet that this got a strength of 99 kilogram. So that's a, a big difference. That's a big difference between 31 kilogram and 99 kilogram. And therefore, it's so strong. On that moment, I got the strength on my setup that is 99 kilograms. That's almost three times bigger than the 31 kilogram. But you cannot see it here. That's a very big problem. Uh, you cannot see it in the game. And you cannot see the hooks either. So that's max dragging. So now I'm going to show you guys some things that are very important in the max dragging. Uh, that is uh, the, the, the website I'm going to show you guys. So where can you see the strength on the hook? And where can you see uh, the, the strength of the, the mechanism on the reel? So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys now that spreadsheet. The next part, guys, is this spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet is important. I already told you guys that because the mechanism strength and the hook strength, we cannot see it in the game. So this is a spreadsheet, it's made by uh, Kilted Jock, and he did God's work in my opinion, because without this spreadsheet it's almost impossible to do maximum dragging. You can do it by testing and testing and testing, but it's very hard to know it. Not everything is here in it, because not every reel is in it. But I will show you guys uh, how it works. So where you can find it, I will put this link uh, for this spreadsheet under this video too, because you need to have it. So there are two hidden things that you cannot see in the game. That is the mechanism of the reel, what I told you guys just right now, and that is the hook strength. So you can find it here, and I will show you guys it for the setup that I just showed you guys at the start of the video. So if you go here to the reel sheet, you will see for my Venga 10,000 that I was using is over here. You can see first the drag, the maximum drag. But the moment that you put your drag totally closed on infinite, uh, that's gone. So you just ignore this one and it goes to the mechanism of the reel. And here you can see the number. So on that moment, you got a 99 kilogram that your reel can handle. So you just need to ignore this. This is now the number that you work with on the max drag. So therefore people are doing max drag. You need to understand you, that you went from 31.7 kg strength to 100 kg. So that's a lot of more strength that you can push on the fish. So 100 kg we got now because we are max dragging. So this, this number is now important. And therefore... You can understand now why reels are not breaking here. So if you put like 40 kilogram of line on a reel that can handle max drag 31.7. Why is my reel not breaking when I get spooled? It's because of this. So my mechanic is 99 kilogram. That's a number that we need to understand. Another thing that is important. Hooks, they got the strength here too. And that's something that you can see in this spreadsheet too. So if you come here to the top. And you go to hook strengths. You can see here. A certain hook. What kind of strength it can handle. And when it breaks. So if you put the weakest link your hook. And a fish push more than that strength. Your hook will break. That's in the best case scenario. Because you only need to change your hook on that moment. If you got a lure with a certain hook. And the hook breaks. You only need to replace the hook. And here you can find that too. For the new uh, hooks in the sea area in Norway, it's not yet here. But if you start now the game and you think by yourself, okay, I want to make a setup and my hook is the weakest link, you come here, you have a look to the hook, okay, uh, here you can see the, the 101 hook, the S6 got 10.2 kilogram, and my, uh, my other pieces of my chain are higher than this, then the hook will break if you get spooled. So therefore, it's very important that you know the spreadsheet. The next part that I'm going to talk about is the durability on gear. Because that's something that is very important too. Because if you buy new gear, and they are new, it's perfect. 
but it goes down when you use your gear and that's important too you cannot ignore that so that's the next step in the video okay guys the last part of the video and i'm going to show you guys my setup that i'm now using already for a couple of weeks in this area so you can see right away this is a maximum drag setup why because my line is higher than my maximum drag on my reel but we know now that if your max drag it's not anymore the maximum drag that you see here for my venga but it's 99 kilogram so how do you do that very simple so max dragging you put your brake totally closed and on that moment it's not anymore the friction brake that is going to work but it's the mechanism of the venga and we just saw in the spreadsheet that's 99 kilogram so this is a setup that i'm using it works really well it's not 100 percent perfect why i will explain that to you guys so my rod is 68.2 kilogram that's perfect uh then the venga at this moment is 99 kilogram because it's a mac drag setup so uh this number you need to ignore it's 99 kilogram my line is nicely under my rod and under my uh, max drag so it will not break my reel or rod uh, the shock leader needs to be under my line too, but I don't have access to it. So I can buy a shock leader here, so you can see it here. Why I'm using the 61 is very simple. So if you go here to shock leaders, and you take this one, so you got the 61 and then you got 45 one. But that means that I'm going to lose almost 15% of strength. Therefore, I'm using the 60-60. If here was now a 58 shock leader, I would use it. So that means too, if I break this shit, I'm going to break everything and a part of my line too. But I don't have access to it. Uh, therefore, I'm using the 60 uh, kilogram here. Then another one is the, the, the hooks here on this lure. We don't have yet info about what is the hook strength on this uh, on these hooks. So what I saw was because I already lost two times my setup because I want to, I went max drag and uh, they broke off. They pushed more strength than the 60 kilogram that I got here and I lost everything under it and a part of my line too. So that means that the hook that I'm using here is more than 60 kilogram of strength. It's not ideal, but in the future, if we got more... Uh, info about what kind of strength we got on the new hooks i can use here a hook that is for example 55 kilogram and then my hook will break so uh it's not ideal but it's good as it is as it is uh, now so that means if all my gear is new i will not break my reel and i will not break my rod in the in uh when i max drag or when i get spooled but now i'm going to talk about durability because durability is something that is very important too. So you guys can see if I, if I max drag on this setup. So that's my mechanism. I got already 26.3 percentage damage on it. You cannot ignore that because the number that we know, 99 kilogram on the mechanism, is not anymore 99. So you need to calculate the damage. Uh, on that 99 and you need to pu put it off you need to do a minus with it so we are going to calculate now for to calculate easy we are going to pretend that the mechanism on my venga is 100 kilogram it it calculate a little bit easier so if you take 26 percent of 100 kilogram that's 26 kilogram less that it can handle so at this moment, my Venga, the mechanism, is 100 minus 26 kilogram. That means that my Venga can now handle, the mechanism can now handle, let's say, 73 kilogram. You, un you need to understand that. Because the problem is, if my mechanism go more down and down, at some point the mechanism will become the weakest link in my setup. That means that I can break my mechanism. So let's do a calculation. So at this moment, we got 73 kilogram. That's still okay because we got 60 kilogram of line. So the line is still the weakest link. If we go now to 40% wear, on that moment, my Venga mechanism is 60 kilogram. If we go to 41% wear on my Venga, 
I got 59 kilograms. So that means the moment that I hit 41% wear on my Venga mechanism, my Venga will break because my line is stronger than my reel. Always understand that. So don't think that you can keep fishing and fishing, ignore the wear on your reel, because you cannot do that, because at some point you will break your Venga. So what I do is, so I can fish still with this one, that's not a problem. I can max drag with this one, but the moment that I'm coming close to, let's say, 35 to 36, I'm going to need to repair this for this setup. Otherwise, I will break my mechanism and I don't want to break my mechanism because it's very expensive. Always remember that. For the line, it's just the same. So for the line, the strength goes down too if the wear gets higher. So for example, if we get now this. So this is a line that can handle 60 kg of test. If I had now here 10% of damage, that means it's not anymore 60 kg. No, we need to get 10% of 60 kg. So 10% of 60 kg is 6 kg. 60 kg minus 6 is 54 kg. So if I had here 10% wear, this line was not 60 kg of test, it was 54 kg of test. You need to understand that too. Other, <coughs> in combination with other setups. It's the same for the leader. You see the wear here. 10% damage on this leader is 54 instead of 60 kg. I don't think there is wear on hooks. I don't think so. If there is wear, you need to do the calculations too. If you know from the spreadsheet, of course, how much the strength is on the hook. So that's it a little bit, guys. It seems very complex, but it's not very complex. So you need to understand what is very important. You need to understand this. So the setup that I showed you guys at the start is safe. You will lose your hook if you get spooled. If you go further in the game and you are starting to go in max dragging, uh, because that's needed, because you can push a lot of more strength. So if you go max drag, you do it like this. On that moment, it's not anymore your friction break that is important, it's your mechanism. You need to understand what are the settings on the mechanism. You need to see that in the spreadsheet. So what is the mechanism strength of my Venga? You need to see that. Of course, if you got another reel, you need to have a look. So it's going to be utilized if your friction break is totally closed. So, and then you need to look at this. Here, the mechanism strength. And then you just need to do everything the same, what I told you guys. Just have a look at the durability too. Because that's important, because the numbers go down then. That it still matches the chain that you want to have. And then something to end the video, uh, what is very important. No, I'm not going to end the video. So people always ask questions. When do I need to repair my equipment? I already told you guys when you need to repair it. So if you want to keep, if I want to keep using this setup and I want to max drag it, I need to repair my mechanism at 40 or 38%. So there is not really a standard when you need to repair stuff. You need to repair stuff when you're going to break stuff if you want to do the kind of fishing what you did before. So this is a question too of all the people that say when do I need to repair my equipment? I need to repair my mechanism when it's on 38%. Otherwise I break my reel. That's simply said. Then another thing. And that's something that I would not suggest to do. You guys will see in other videos, you will see that people are using a rod with a load capacity that's lower than the line. Uh, so on that moment, if you don't do it right, what I'm going to show you guys now, I would never do that. Don't do that, but I'm just going to show you guys that because there are people that are doing that. So why are they doing that? Because... You can see right away here, my Beluga mechanism can handle 100 kilograms. So if I put now here 100 kilograms on, my reel is not going to break. Let's say when I put 90 kilograms on this, my reel is not going to break. But my rod is going to break. But there is a trick that you can do. So, but I would not suggest that. So the thing is, if you do this, 
So now I got a straight line. And now my line is not using my rod. Why not? Because my line is now pulling directly on my reel. Therefore, those guys can use a rod that is the weakest link and not break it. But it's so dangerous. So you guys can see it here. I'm not using my rod at the moment. So because my line is nicely straight, I'm just pulling on my reel only. And I'm now using my full mechanism of my reel. And that's why they use a test of the, on the rod that is lower than the test on the line. But if you do now this, and you got a bench on your rod, now you're using your rod. So that means if you do this, if you are uh, max dragging, you will break your rod in an instant. So therefore, I would never do that. Don't do that. You can do it. It's possible, but don't do it. Uh, because it's way too dangerous. Because it can happen. You, you're doing something else. You do max drag. You're looking TV. You do this. Bang. Your rod is broken. Therefore, be always sure that your rod is the strongest link in your setup. But I just want to show you guys that why are people doing that. And, and that, that explains too when I was fishing, when I was young. My uncle always told me this. So when we got a snack, he said to me, you need to pull your rod like this. And now I understand why he said that. So you can have two things on that moment. You got the full strength of your mechanism on your reel. You can unsnag or you break your line. Most of the time he said it break your line and pull like this. So and that's what we did too. And now I understand why he said that to me. So we did like this and then the snag or the line broke really quick. But if you do this, you break your rod. So don't do that. Don't do that. That's something I I I never would try to do this, to be honest. Uh, because it, it's way too dangerous. So that was it for the video, guys. I hope that I said everything to you guys. It's not that simple. But always understand the chain. Understand the numbers uh, on the, the pieces that you got. And then you can do it. So thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.